We're going to start with a little demo. And the main reason is some of you have probably seen Tableau. Some of you have maybe heard about it. Maybe your grandma told you or your neighbor or your dog whispered it to you. I don't know. But we're going to see it in action. So you can see exactly what it is. Let's start with the data set. I have a very simple data set in here. You've got words, you've got dates, you've got numbers, you've got, what else you got in here? You've got some percentages, some negative values, pretty standard data because you have columns and rows of data. So cool. What we want to be able to do is visualize this to find something out, to learn something about the data. Well, this data set is imagine all the Walmarts in the United States. Okay, so we got grocery stores. We want to know, well, which ones are the most profitable, which ones are the least profitable. So we can do some really interesting things. Let's say I wanted to see by state which ones are the most profitable. Well, just from double clicking this state location, I can do maps. Very easy. Tableau is intelligent enough to figure out longitude and latitudes for locations. Maybe I want to see this as a map. All right, and I want to see the profitability. I can just double click. And straight away, I can see that Texas is the least profitable, right? It's actually $25,000 under. So they owe the rest of the groups a lot of money. Whereas you have California, which is probably the most profitable along with, the, uh, along with New York. Very simple visualization. Let's do another one. Let's say I want something a little bit more granular. Let's say I wanted to see by city. Let's go city. I can see in even more detail. Let's have a look at who is making the most sales. I could put it into color, all right? A little bit hard to see. Maybe let's put it into size, all right? So now the more sales they have, the larger the circle. Maybe we want to highlight this a little bit more. I can actually change the color. Let's make this red black, reverse it. So I can see these hotspots. Pretty cool, all right? So you can do that. Let's do some more basic ones. So let's say I wanted to know by segment and by, let's say, category and subcategory. I want to know the quantity, right? How much do we sell or how many units in each of these groups? Not the best visualization, kind of hard to tell. Well, what's the highest number? What's the lowest? What's the average? It's hard to see those things. Let's reverse this. All right, so I can see it like that. Maybe we want to make it a heat map. So we can use this little show me button on the top right to help us. It's especially good with beginners. Let's pick a heat map. All right, so I can see it straight away as a heat map. That paper is actually selling the highest. Maybe I want to see this as a tree map. Okay. Maybe I want to add some color here so that each one is separated differently. Right. I can reorganize it. I can have different, I can see these, this data set in so many different ways. Maybe we showed this to our boss, right? And our boss is like, I don't believe in squares. So let's see it as bubbles, right? You can do that. Let's look at line charts, for example. I have a date here. Right? I can tell by a little calendar. Let's bring that in. And I want to see, again, maybe keep it simple, the profitability over time. Let's double click this, right? Not very interesting type of visualization. Let's make it into a line chart, okay? So now we have a line chart for every year, but I mean, I need to know by month. So very easy, I can just expand this date. So now we can see it by month, right? Maybe, oh, sorry, by quarter. Now let's have a look by month. Maybe I can go even further. Let's have a look by week, right? So we can have some and profit. Let's put sales on top of that. All right, so now I have sales here, and let's look also the quantity. I can put things one on top of the other, right? I can actually put them all together if I really wanted to, right? Very easy. Notice that I'm not really using my keyboard very much. It's just drag and drop, drag and drop. This is the main reason why Tableau is so great for people who are just getting into the, in, into the industry. They're not very good with Excel, or maybe they're not good with data, or they're so new to it, or they're just coming out of college. It's so easy to learn. The youngest person I've taught was in their probably early 20s, you know, like 19, 18, even, you know, pretty that age. The oldest was in their 60s, right? So there's no age limit because it's just so easy to use. And it's actually really fun to use. So one other topic I want to talk about in this video before we close it off is 
the argument of Tableau versus Excel, right? I've actually written a blog about it, so if if someone wants, to, if you want to read it, I will leave a description in the in the link, and it's all under Udemy. Uh, basically, they're two different tools, right? One does not replace the other. Tableau is a visualization tool. You feed information in there, you feed data, and then from there you're able to do these kinds of visualizations. Microsoft Excel is different. It is a spreadsheet tool. It lets you actually create data. From there, yeah, you can do some visualizations, but it's nowhere near to the power of what Tableau can do, especially when you're trying to find insights. So Excel is sort of like the starting point when it comes to data. Anyone who's an analyst or kind of in that field, you need to have some Excel skills, right? The better it is, you know, the better it is for you for your career. So that's all I'm going to say for that. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the entire Tableau platform, consider enrolling into my course. It's one of the highest ranking courses on Udemy. And enrolling today, you'll be joining the almost 200,000 students that have enjoyed my courses over the years. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you in the course.